breezy day. Yeah, you can generally break this up twice as fast you can cut it. Going about the same speed as I was cutting it, but I'm breaking two in the one, or when you're boning, it's just one windrow. We'll be out of here shortly. So guys, that was just down. What happened was, you see this bolt here? This is like a piece of threaded rod. It goes into here, she snapped. It looks like it's been broke for a while. Please crack. That's what holds this wing in and out. Well, it snapped and it was just, wasn't putting the wind row together. So I called my brother ahead, said, bring a chain, bring it come along and we'll try to keep it pulled in and it's it's wanting to pull out but it's working for the time being we're going to try to get this field done we'll bring it back to the farm we'll tend to it then Just stop at home real quick. Gonna grab the big grant man. I'm gonna tell you about today's video sponsor. Remember a couple months ago, Rochelle and I got a new king size bed. The big grant man got himself a full size bed, big boy bed. We gotta keep it down. Summer's napping. Hi, honey. Hey. Grant's getting his socks on, ready to come with me. But well, this time it was Chloe's turn to get a new mattress. Last month from Brooklyn Bedding, Catherine. Got new sheets, pills, and blankets. Chloe was in my grandmother's bed that we'd gotten for free. We knew she needed a new one, so we took the sleep quiz, which it, it lets you know if you're sleeping on your back, side sleeper. Chloe actually sleeps on her back. Rochelle and I are side sleepers. You compute all that in, and it tells you what kind of mattress you need. Firm, soft, don't mind the mess. School shopping has started. School's only a week away. I can't believe it, so. Catherine's getting her clothes ready and picked out. One of the things we like best about these is they ship directly out of Arizona. So Chloe ended up getting the Sedona Elite and it also, we got a foundation with it, which is what the mattress sits on. What I like most about it, it sits kind of lower than normal and it's good for, she's nine years old. She's gonna have this bed for a long time. Rochelle and I have been loving our new bed for the last two months, so we knew Chloe would most likely enjoy hers. And with your Brooklyn Bedding mattress, you get a 120 night sleep trial and a 10 year mattress warranty. I can't wait for Chloe to come home and see her new bed. She's at my brother's right now having a sleepover. So we thought we'd surprise her. So guys, we love our Brooklyn Bedding mattress and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out brooklynbedding.com. You can click on the links below and get 25% off your new mattress, the code Kip Sigler on either site. And like most people, sleep is extremely important to us. That's why we we're excited to partner with Brooklyn Bedding for this video. Got mom's tree trimmed up real nice. Let's go cut some hay. Let's go.
in my hand, but. Good size wind row. 
not some dinky little yeah we're over about three feet And it looks like he is. That's the whole field. Turn that PTO off. We're out of here, bud. That's it. When uh, Dad was coming at us, Grant says, Dad, he's very cautious. He didn't want us to collide. That was where we ended up. And there's our milk hauler right there. He was here this morning on the farm. He's on his way home. See, I'm just kind of straddling this hay. You don't, you don't want to really run these windrows over if you don't have to. It's going to be a hard enough time drying them, but when you smash them down with your tires, it, it makes it even worse. And he's out of here. Job well done, boys. All done. Let's park this out of the way over by my feed location. That's still going good. Mixer's very close to showing up. We got one on auction. Gotta go get it. Older one, but needs a little TLC. We'll get her straightened out just to get me started. Since I've never ran a mixer before, I figured I'd get a good used one. Oh, a car. Yep, yeah. there's a car right there, bud. Yeah, so, cool. so, mixer will be coming soon. Look look for that. As of right now, I'm still feeding out of my feeder wagon. Hay, corn, grain out of the silo. Just dropped Grant off at home. It's already milking time. Cows are locked in to get milk. These are the cows that have already gotten milk. I'm running this feed out, out of my feeder wagon. Essentially, I'll be feeding the same way as I am now when I get the, the mixer, except the mixer will be pulled up. I'm about to shut that off, I'll show you. I'll back it out. Instead of it being that feeder wagon, it'll be the mixer wagon. There's the area that you pull in. I've been building this up. It needs to get built up a little bit more. Then I'm gonna gravel over it because that mixer sits a little lower than this chopper wagon. And the, this has got a door. The mixer's just gonna have a stub conveyor sitting on it. Not as long as that. So I gotta make sure I can overhang it into that conveyor. Then I'll just park this right here for morning. Morning I come in, corn, haze on that far side, and I still got grain coming out of the silo. So that's how I'm doing it. I've got finally the water drained in between these bags, very close. I mean, you can see how it was up on that bag, six, eight inches. And it, since then it's really dried this whole area. All that standing water like that, we should have known better. Uh, you'll see in between my other bags over here, I made sure they were pitched. There was no cardboard, no no feed chaff. So the water, when it does drain, it can run. Then we're over here by my hay bag. I've used, this bag was all the way to the end, but I wasn't thinking to mark it. So I've got August 1st marked here. This is going to help me track on how much hay we're going through. 
corn I, I marked that over there too so but this this base has been holding up very nicely it's only going to get harder i believe but check out this corn most of these stalks have got two big ears on them look at two and this one actually has got three starting but i love it when a, when a corn crop grows like this dual ears on every single one of them I mean, it's just massive massive corn like i said tiled field that's all silage corn that'll be right right here we'll be chopping it but i'm really getting a hang about pulling out that hay it's working well very well all i got to do is come in here see i got to clean in through there i'm gonna have to spray all these all this grass and these weeds and keep it down but besides that i'm learning and getting better at doing this i feel like every day